Oh, I guess we'll pay her a visit afterwards. Let's see. Oh yeah, this 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 guy is Rupert. He's the apprentice of Matthew, but I guess yeah, there's no reason to talk to him. He's probably one of the least interesting NPCs in this game. But we got a book sign that we already read. Oh well. But first, I'm curious about that backyard he was talking about with, with storage. Hey there, lover. Yeah? Keep on looking at me. I don't care about you. I guess that's the backyard. Halt! No one may enter the storeroom! Why can't anyone enter the storeroom? The Honorable Lord Hagen has confiscated the goods for the King's army! Gee, calm down. I can hear you perfectly fine. Well, okay, how to get into the storeroom with the, that guy standing in front of it? There are actually a couple of ways again, so... Uh, I think I have about four in mind. One, which I'm not going to show off, is just use a sleep spell on him, which is the probably easiest way. Uh, then there's a buggy way, which is pretty easy. It's just, uh, like some people pointed out, you can actually just uh, bug out gate guards by just sidestepping past them. Oops. Halt! No. I cocked that up royally because you just need to keep running out until you're out of a uh, out of talking range. There we go. And simple as that. That's also a way to get into the upper quarter, but I won't I won't be abusing that because it's cheap. And look at that, a leather armor. So we don't even have to pay for that thing. And in here is what exactly? Let's see. Lab water bottles, beautiful. Sausages, 15. And a lot of citizen's clothing. It's worse than the leather armor, but at least it's worth a good amount of money. I could actually just, uh, just show, uh, show the beautiful clothing. That's the leather armor which we are going to wear, and there is uh, different citizen's clothing. If we want to look fancy in that, we could actually use that, but bleh. Nobody cares about looking fancy. I want to be protected. There we go. And we just can normally walk past him, I think. Yes, we can. Okay, two other ways to get up, uh, get into the store array. Might as well show that off. Okay, we'll make a quick save right here. One is getting, uh, getting on with roof here. Info is quite tedious to get up there uh, using the roof, but I uh, get in there using the roof because you can't jump that. You have to. Let's again, uh, we have to use our good old friend Diggory's meat. Place it right here. Uh, a little bit more to the right. Uh, like that, I think. Perfect. Now we sidestep on it. And now we can make a normal jump over there. Or not. Okay, I have to try that again. It should work. I, it's it's supposedly also possible without the bigger meat, but it's I tried it a truckload of times and it always failed. Uh, it could still be more to the edge. All right, exciting mushroom placement is going is taking place currently. Yeah, I guess that should be enough. A little bit inch over there, and let's try it again. <laughs> yes, there we go. And now we just could drop down, but. We already raided everything. Another way to get into the storeroom is actually probably the most risky one. And I don't really recommend it. Yeah, so you, you can barely make it. I think you could maybe make it with acrobatics or a running start, but nah. Okay, next way to get up there is... Uh, whoop, whoop, is going... using that roof here. The problem is that you, if, if you do a regular jump, you won't make it. You have to like jump when he's about to fall off the edge, so he does like a farther jump, like that. Otherwise, you'll end up face planting. And so we just could also drop down here. But like I said, we get everything. I don't even know why I'm showing off this this stuff. Probably just be a la latest fag. Okay, um, let's we quickly talk to Greta about this, or I think it's better to talk about uh, about that with Torben first. I've come about Gritta. My niece? What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. 
tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the moneylender, just to settle her debts. And now this. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. Okay, let's... Hmm, I wonder if he's getting aggressive if I'm stealing that stuff on the wall. Let's see. Nope, he doesn't mind. Okay, Greta, there she is. You know, I first want to, to read that book stand, or get into that book stand. Ah, uh, hunt and pray, two new, two new enemies, fire lizard and shadow beast. Both incredibly annoying. But okay. I will, we won't see those things. Okay, the shadow beast will... Okay, first I have to get out of here. Shadow beast will be actually an enemy we'll be, we actually saw already. Anyways, so uh, let's talk to Greta. What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Greta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. Mateo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you, back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, a gentleman of the old school. We had it all. Wealth, happiness. Sometimes we were even invited to high society events. The festivities, all the beautiful clothes and hairdos. The fine uh, dining and civilized conversations. Everything was better back then. Uh, no one would have uh, dared to humiliate uh, the heart uh, of a poor uh, widow uh, with uh, such... Uh, okay, shut up. Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. Fine by me. I'm gonna pay the sum for you. You would do that for me? Oh, I knew you weren't a greedy bastard like that, Mateo. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Come back once you've taken care of that. I want to show you my gratitude. I hope she didn't imply something. <laughs> that gratitude sounded like something... Oh, well. Probably won't be that. I will be some... <laughs> she will give me 100 gold as a reward for paying the 100 gold to Mateo. Where is he? Stop going to uh, bed. Damn it. What do you want? Here's your 100 gold pieces. You want to pay for her? <laughs> I'd have preferred it if you'd squeezed it out of her. Still, 100 gold pieces is 100 gold pieces. You've held up your part of the deal. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry. I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me. Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would, but the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Oh, come on. You just got to kick him out. Okay, there's nothing of interest we can talk about him anymore. Well, talking of squeezing it out, out, of, uh, out of her. Ugh. Thank you, camera. That was nice. I have no idea how he actually realized that I paid the sum for him. Uh, for her. Just clairvoyance or whatever. Hey, there's Greta. Let's see. Uh, what's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. My knife is a matter. There we go. 
Ugh, I hate this bug. There we go. Oh wait, we should have actually uh, talked to her about the reward first. Forgot about that. Um, oh, we don't. Whoops, that's not oblivion. That's not oblivion either. There's oblivion. Oh man, my head. Hey, what want my reward, Missy? What else do you want? You've got my gold. Go away. Whoops. Okay, I have to do it the other way. First get the reward, then beat her up. Oh well, it's so hard to do. <laughs> to make the difference. What's the matter? I want my reward. Don't go to... Hello? Get up again, you stupid... Hmm... This is kind of awkward situation. I can actually do something. I can't walk, I can't... I think I just screwed myself over. Um... Yeah. You know, give me a minute. 